The Philippines, long defined by its geography as an archipelago of more than 7,000 islands, is now turning that geography into a strength by reshaping its role in global telecommunications. The flag project of this transformation is the Luzon Bypass Infrastructure, LBI, a terrestrial fiber optic corridor that bypasses one of the most volatile stretches of water in the world, the Luzon Strait. Located between the northern Philippines and Taiwan, the strait has historically served as the primary gateway for undersea cables linking East Asia with the United States and the Pacific. Yet it is also a geological fault line of global digital connectivity, an earthquake-prone corridor where one major seismic event can cripple regional internet flows. The dangerous waters reputation of the Luzon Strait is well-earned. Sitting at the intersection of the Eurasian and Philippine sea plates, it is among the most seismically active regions on Earth. catastrophic Hengchun earthquake of 2006 remains a stark reminder. Submarine landslides and density flows triggered by the quake severed 22 cables in one stroke, cutting off or slowing internet connections across the Philippines, Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, and beyond. The incident paralyzed banking transactions, disrupted stock exchanges, and stalled the Philippines' booming outsourcing industry for weeks with billions of pesos in losses. With up to 11 major cables previously concentrated in this corridor, the Luzon Strait has long represented a single point of failure in Asia's digital lifelines. To address this vulnerability, the Philippine government launched the Luzon Bypass Infrastructure LBI project, a bold solution designed to reroute data across the landmass of Luzon rather than through deep sea fault zones. This initiative, spearheaded by the Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, and the Bases Conversion and Development Authority, BCDA, involves the construction of two new cable landing stations on Luzon's east and west coasts, Belair in Aurora Province and San Fernando in La Union, linked by a 240 to 250 kilometers terrestrial fiber corridor. At an initial government cost of 975 million pesos, about $18 million, the LBI creates a safer, climate-resilient, and future-proof pathway for international submarine cable operators to land and exchange traffic in the Philippines. The project's significance is amplified by strategic partnerships with global technology giants. Meta, then Facebook, became the first private partner to land its Pacific Light Cable Network, PLCN, on the LBI, securing access in exchange for providing the Philippine government with a dedicated fiber pair. That deal alone yielded a spectrum equivalent to two terabits per second, 50 times the government's previous capacity of 40,000 Mbps and nearly equal to the combined bandwidth of the nation's top two telcos at the time. Officials hailed it as a game changer, promising faster, more reliable, and more affordable internet for ordinary Filipinos while positioning the Philippines as a serious digital hub in Asia. But the LBI is only one piece of a broader national strategy. It is integrated into the government's national broadband plan and the construction of the National Fiber Optic Backbone, NFOB, now reinforced by a 268.22 million euros, $287.24 million World Bank loan approved in October 2024. That investment alone is expected to benefit more than 20 million Filipinos, especially in underserved rural areas, by bringing high-speed, climate-resilient internet closer to marginalized communities. The backbone is being designed with resilience in mind, using buried conduit systems, reinforced substations, and materials engineered to withstand typhoons and floods. Meanwhile, private sector expansion adds further depth. New submarine systems such as Jupiter, Bifrost, CH2X, and Apricot are diversifying regional cable routes, while local telcos like PLDT and Converge ICT are investing heavily in domestic networks. Converge alone has committed $1.8 billion to expand broadband access across Luzon and beyond, leveraging the LBI and NFOB as backbone infrastructure. Together, these government and private projects are weaving redundancy into the Philippines' connectivity landscape, reducing dependence on any single choke point and enabling smoother integration with global data flows. The Luzon Bypass infrastructure and its integration into the broader national broadband plan 
represent a decisive turning point for the Philippines' digital future. What was once a fragile and exposed internet system, vulnerable to the whims of earthquakes, undersea landslides, and regional choke points, is being reshaped into one of resilience, redundancy, and vast new capacity. By creating a terrestrial alternative to the volatile Luzon Strait, the LBI effectively removes the country's most glaring single point of failure, ensuring that millions of users can remain connected even when the seas are in turmoil. The long-term impacts are profound. On the security front, the LBI gives the Philippines both a geophysical and geopolitical shield, guaranteeing continuity of communications in a region marked by seismic instability and contested waters. In terms of capacity, the dedicated two terabits per second fiber pair obtained through strategic partnerships like that with Meta is a quantum leap, 50 times greater than the government's total bandwidth just a decade ago. This breakthrough capacity is not only about faster browsing speeds, it is the backbone for nationwide free Wi-Fi programs, digital classrooms, telemedicine, and the rollout of integrated e-government platforms that can bring essential services into remote barangays. Economically, the LBI and its associated subsea cable landings make the Philippines far more competitive as a digital hub in Asia, attracting investments in data centers, content delivery networks, and international peering points that will anchor the country's role in the global internet ecosystem. Ultimately, the Luzon Bypass is more than an infrastructure project. It is a statement of intent. It signals that the Philippines will no longer allow its geography to dictate its digital fate. By coupling redundancy with capacity and resilience, Manila is laying the foundations for sustainable digital growth in the decades to come. The call to action is clear. Sustained investment, vigilant maintenance, and continued public-private cooperation will be essential to ensure that this momentum is not only preserved, but expanded. In doing so, the Philippines can secure its place as a resilient, connected, and competitive nation, one whose digital lifelines are no longer at the mercy of dangerous waters.